At times, we feel bored at our 9-to-5 jobs that pay us quite less and makes us work harder than we can. A thought about setting up an illegal business that makes quick buck strikes the mind, and in this video, we are about to satiate that desire of yours that wants to indulge in illegal businesses. To find out what are the top 5 illegal businesses that can be carried out while earning a lot in return, keep watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Starting off the video with the infamous business that the whole world runs on, smuggling has been existing on the face of this earth since time immemorial. Technically, smuggling means the transportation of illegal goods from one place to another. Smugglers mastermind ideas and often transport illegal goods in packaging that would make it look legal. At times, drugs like cocaine were passed off in an urn that was supposed to contain ashes. Smuggling does not only take place as an illegal business that people perform to evade taxes, but smuggling also involves drug trafficking, human trafficking, and illegal oil bunkering. These are some of the most lucrative smugglings that create exchanges that bring in most of the money. Getting illegal or contraband goods across the border is not only risky, but also concerns the safety and security of the country. Consumption of marijuana is not legal in most countries, while a large population does engage in smoking marijuana regardless. Some are grown in the country, while some are brought in from the outside. This is a classic example of smuggling. In countries such as Saudi Arabia, Russia, Nigeria, Angola, and Iraq, unrecorded oil sales are at an all-time high. According to the Shell, about 100,000 barrels of oil get smuggled out of Nigeria each day. To think of it, this can only be possible if officials help the smugglers. But that's nothing compared to drug trafficking, the illegal drug trade. This is a global black market that is dedicated to the cultivation, manufacturing, distribution, and sale of drugs that are subject to drug prohibition laws. In South American areas, especially Colombia, Bolivia, and Peru, these drug cartels are quite common and they are responsible for more than half of the world's cocaine and heroin. These drug cartels rein in around $88 billion of profit annually. The international drug trade market is estimated to be worth over $300 billion a year, but it is quite understated. With the advent of the internet, hacking has found its way to personal computers around the world. Cyber crimes are quite common and online data leakage has become a regular crime. When large corporations leak data to advertisers, they rarely get held for the breach of trust. Advertisers, in turn, support the corporations with huge sums of money in exchange for data. Remember, breaching of trust is illegal, and Facebook has come under a lot of scrutiny for the breach of trust and the leaking of users' private data. Your private data includes your personal information, such as your credit or debit card info, passwords, bank account info, hard drive data, etc. Hackers can also benefit from cloning debit cards by boosting their withdrawal limits and therefore withdrawing huge amounts from the bank. People have been falling victims to this type of crime, but those who are willing to spend their time to hack into your computers are having a very lucrative trade indeed. Piracy, counterfeiting, forgery have been grouped because they are interwoven. They are interconnected to such an extent that they basically mean reproducing items that are in no way of the same quality as the original product and presenting or selling them with the name and trademark of the original. Famous brands Nike, Adidas, Reebok, etc., to name a few, if copied and sold under the same name with inferior quality, it damages the reputation of the original brand. Counterfeiting involves the reproduction of documents, books, tapes, money, etc. The branded items cost a lot more than the counterfeited ones, and therefore, the fake ones are sold out. Faking documents, such as passports, to make it out of the country and relocate elsewhere is highly common, and might even not fall under the scanner of airport security. Do you do the increased sales of merchandise of the counterfeit products? One can make a lot of money with the fake products. According to the World Customs Organization, counterfeiting accounts for 5-7% to of global merchandise trade. You'd be surprised to know that human organ trafficking is a thriving market. It is a thriving market despite the fact that it is illegal throughout the world, except Iran. Commercial trading is absolutely prohibited. A news report published mentioned that some people sell their kidneys illegally for as low as $5,000. We all know that we can function with one kidney quite well, and therefore, these people did not hesitate to give away the other. After the kidney was taken away, a transplant costs about $200,000. So the kidney seller is getting quite less didn't that what someone is getting for the transplant. 
Global Financial Integrity had written a report that estimated the illegal organ trade made a profit between $600 million to $1.2 billion per annum. The selling of kidney in India, for example, is so common that a colloquial joke which asked people to sell their kidneys in order to buy a new iPhone spread like wildfire. Illegal wildlife trading is the unlawful capturing of animals, customizing it as per the demands, and then selling it in an illegal market under uncontrolled conditions for the generation of billions of dollars of revenue in terms of profit. Wildlife trading is not only illegal, but it has harmed the biodiversity in many ways. It has caused an imbalance in the environment and is one of the causes of the ecological imbalance. Animals become a target of poachers, and they are mercilessly killed for making commodities. The elephant for its ivory, the rhino for its horns, the penguin for its gills, and tiger bones and skin. The ultra-rich and powerful of the society like to decorate their mansions and villas with search animal products that associate with the status symbol. The animals that are being targeted are exotic and precious and have a high source of value. Poaching has been a profession for a long time and due to the increasing amount of revenue being collected from poaching, in quite an easy way, the poachers aren't looking for any other jobs. One of the main reasons why people look to illegal businesses is because they help in making easy money. If there is a risk of getting caught, the chance of getting a reward will be a hundred times. As the saying goes, the greater the risk, the higher the reward. Again, what is considered illegal in one country might not be illegal in another. Many countries of the world have already legalized marijuana for recreational and medicinal purposes, while others are still left to do so. Legalizing marijuana will lead to the decriminalization of the possession and consumption of marijuana, and therefore, it would fall under the legal sector of trade. As we have nearly come to the end of our video, we would like to clarify again that staying on the light side of the force should be the goal to pursue. But anyway, what do you think about these, let's say, uncommon business ideas? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel if you're looking for more content like this.